There's one waiting in, the, in there. Hey, everybody, it's Abstract here. We are doing a little impromptu live. It won't be very long. Um, and I've also got the fabulous Mark Muir in here. As you all know, he has a great, great artist. Mark, put your uh, site, put something in the chat so they can follow you if they so choose. Hold on, I gotta get there. Okay. Now the first thing we're gonna start is I got today in the mail. And I'm not gonna tell the person's name in case they didn't want everybody knowing. I'll have to ask their permission. A beautiful birthday card. And look at this little chipboard wreath that actually comes apart. It tells you how to, to lift the back up so you can use this as a hanging piece. It's, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's chipboard and it looks like some fine cutouts. It's really nice. It's I was very, very nice. surprised. It's Buddha. It. it is. I love it. Okay, so that I got I got that today in the mail. I was very, very surprised. And then I went to Hobby Lobby and I did a little haul. And I'm gonna save the the biggest thing for last that I got from there. But because Mark, I found the last one, Mark, that they had of the um parchment paper. Mm -hmm. And I thought, well, maybe we can do a uh, do something together. Mm -hmm. since I have to. And it's regularly $9.99. I got it for $2.50. Can we see it, everybody? Yep, I see it. 25 sheets. It's an 11 by 17. And I was like, I got the last one they had. I was like, oh, I got to tell Mark I got it. And then that way, uh, maybe we can do something together. Because you're, you're good at coming up with projects. And then I found these guys. A dollar twenty-five. Oh yeah, I saw those. Did you? Yeah, I was like, yeah, those are nice, but they're. I didn't like the one of them had like stuff on both sides. I'm like, why would they do that? Hi, Stephanie. How are you, darling? I did a little haul today. It was five ninety nine, a buck fifty. Norman Rockwell Classics. But you know, I can use. I've been and see on the back. It, it on the back page. It tells what each one is, and then it was ran in the Saturday. See, like this one here is called um, After Prom. So it, they were all put in the Saturday Evening Post. And it tells what year they were put in there. Like this one. This one here was done in 1957. So there's a little history behind it. Mm -hmm. Each one of these pictures. And I think they're going to be just fun to do. Now, I, I know to be careful with like gel pens will do okay with this. Color pencils will do okay with this. Stephanie Barjaliski. I'm sorry if I said your name wrong. I got Stephanie Pooch and I got Stephanie Barger. She says, hi, Faith and Mark. How are you doing, Stephanie's? Both you, Stephanie's. And look at the pictures in this. These are going to be so much fun. And they're perforated, so they'll be able to come out. And look at the, co the color schemes for that era. Mm -hmm. Which is like a yellow ochre. And I'm going to have to find a way to do these skin tones. I'm excited. There's this one. Then we have Jazz again, a dollar fifty. And the color, look at the color schemes on this are kind of pastel-y. I didn't see the Jazz one. They didn't. I don't think they had it up there. Yeah, this one is here. Look at that. These are going to be fun to do too. My Sundays throughout the rest of this year are going to be great with color pages. I'm telling you. These color books. Then this is the fabulous 1950s. Look at that. Oh, I love her little hairdo. I wish I could get away with that. And then the girls wore the poofy skirts. I wasn't born to the 60s, but I'm telling you that I love the way they dressed. And this is a little, don't they call these like a pencil skirt or something like that? I don't remember. The tight ones, yeah. Yeah, pencil skirts. 
Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. So these are going to be fun to do. Then another dollar fifty one. Hey Julie, how you doing? They did the uh, Saturday Evening Post. More of that Americana. And again, it tells you they were on. These were the cover cover posts. Saturday mm -hmm. Evening Post cover. And like this one here was done in nineteen fifty two. It tells the dates of them. I'm gonna have fun with these. These are great. Aw, remember those days when your parents would carry you in? <laughs> oh, he's catching little butterflies. All kinds of, oh, that one's going to be intense. So we got this one. Now look at this sucker. Romantic Country. It was a $15.99. I, I paid $4 for it. It's the tale of the secret forest and the animals of Cocot. A fantasy coloring book. And you open it up, and it lifts out of this cover. Look at this. Those are balloons. You can even cover, paint the color. Hey, Faith, Faith your, your camera's up a little too high. There you go. Now you see the book. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. You're right. Here we go. Okay, so there is this. Let me make sure everybody can see. Okay, so then in the back of here, it has where it's perforated, but it's like a whole, look at that. It's huge, like a big, huge poster. That's cool. And then on the inside of it, it tells you something about each one of the pictures in here. Chapter three, fairies work with nature. Chapter four, the witch in the hidden secret forest. And there's the, and that's something. Mm -hmm. Now they're double-sided. So I'm going to have to be careful, but the paper's not really thin. It's pretty thick, but I think I'm still going to have to be very careful. Yeah, those unfortunately, the more that it's kind of like you, where you want to do the watercolor or the acrylic wash and then use like your color pencils and stuff, right? Right, just a light wash over the whole thing or something. I don't know, over each thing. Oh, my um, Julie Schneider says it is snowing there and she loves the books. Oh, it's not snowing here, thank gosh. Yeah, y'all had your fill of snow. For now, we'll, pro we'll probably get more. We're, you know. And now, let's see what else did I get today? Everything I bought today, with exclusion of the double sided tape, was on sale. Everything. Like this metallic luster, $6.99. I got it for a buck seventy-five. This is the cosmic blue. Jane Kate Boo. Hello, all. Hello, Jane. How are you? This one is Copper Kettle. Um, Hi, wifey. This one is Polished Coral. These are all $1.75. And this one is Elegant Emerald. Now, Lynn's, uh, what, is her, what is her channel? The Polymer Clay. Lynn, she's in, our, in your club. Lynn's. Ah, I can't think of her dadgum name. She uses this a lot with her polymer clay. So uh, I have some of this to work with now on my clay, since I'm going to start doing clays. You wipe it on, wipe it off type thing. They got four different. They had a lot of other colors, but I only got the ones that were on the on the sale. Everything is on sale. I don't have my um, phone, so I can't use my forty percent. So I just made sure everything I got today was on sale. Did you ask them? Ask them what? Sometimes they, they can get the coupon up for you. Oh, well, no, I didn't. I was just, I was, went in there with that. I did like, you know, woman with a mission, just narrow-minded. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he, this is a three ninety five card that was in the color section too. It's got some gold already in it, and then you decorate it here, 99 cents. And it's a, it's a card to send to somebody. 
They're called coloring cards. 99 oh, cents. Oh, yeah. They had, a, they had a whole bunch of those, but it was like something I'm like, uh, nothing I'm really into. And then, of course, I got the double-sided tape for my um, matting of the, those uh, pictures I'm going to be doing for that future auction of mine. Mm -hmm. And then I got this at Stephanie Pucci. You know who this is for? And this is and inside it. Oh, shoot. I had it opened in the store. My fingers don't want to work. See? You can put a picture or something in it. But I know where this one's going. There's only one person I know that's really into all the comic books and stuff. And the superhero type people. If I can figure out how to close it back up. Anyway, I'll figure that out later. But there's that. Can you see that one? It's very nice. I like it. Hi, Ian. Oh, Flash Gordon. Yes, yes, it's Flash. Hi, Blue Eye Girl. Hi, Heidi. Okay, and then I got... This was on sale for 57 cents. Chipboard. And it is a... Like a birdcage. Mm-hmm. But I figured with collabs and stuff coming up and this, that, and the other, put it in my arsenal for something to do. It might be thick enough that I could actually do some wood burning on the inside of it here with my wood burning tool. So yeah, that's that. And here is the, the piece, the red stone. This is a regular $80 product. I got it for $20. Prismacolor. Art markers. Oh, I haven't even opened them. I saw that. I thought, oh, Mark's gonna love that guy. This. It was the only one they had left. I looked for those inks. There was not one on sale. Not one. You know the inks like you got. I was looking for those. Yeah. They had them, but not one of them were on sale. They were all regular priced. So evidently, the sale ones are already gone. Now, everybody talks so much about Prisma colors. I am so anxious to see. I have not yeah. used their markers yet. I've used a couple of other things. Of them. Okay. Well, it looks like we have a lot of the primary. And they retail for 80 bucks. I was like, $80? We can't miss what we never had over here. Aw. That must be wifey. <laughs> yeah, it was Jane. Yeah. So let me see what they look like. If I can get it open. I may not be able to get it open. Is there a trick? What? To opening them? Hold on. Oh, there we go. You broke it now. Uh-oh. <laughs> so... We will see at eighty dollars retail and twenty wholesale. Do they refill? I doubt it. Their markers, but the Copics refill. Some so, refill, so you never know. But I, I don't know about them though. Shay's more of your marker girl. I'm gonna have to ask her. This one is a yellow orange, and we have a dark umber, which is good. Um. Carmen Red. It's kind of like a coral to me. A rouge Carmen, she called it. says Crimson Red. Pink Rose. Is this an Oh My God Yellow? A Canary Yellow. So that's an Oh My God. Mulberry. It's kind of a fuchsia to me. Violet. Ultramarine blue, uh, dark green. What are these other ones? I thought it was, it was like, man, that was 80 bucks and I got it for 20. Carrot green. What are the other two here? Black, a nor black, and a, another pair of green. So, what's the difference? I thought I had no, a pair of green. 
No, that's you. You looked at the same marker twice. Oh, my bad. <laughs> I just got so excited. That's all right. I'll Prism send you the bill later. Prisma colors, and I got it for twenty bucks. I was like, um, the original symbol was in the 1980 film of Flash Gordon, and may have been in the old 1930s mini film also. Eighty dollars is mad. I gave away the complete set of promo markers, including extra fine nibs. I'm sorry now. Oh, Jane. That's too bad. She, uh, she said, hello, hubby, by the way. So uh, is this only used for... Hey, this, according to this, is not just used for clay. This is metallic? All kinds of stuff, I believe. I'm reading the back of it. Let's see. I've only seen it used for... Uh, on the back with clay. It absorbs into porous surfaces, dries quickly, uses on wood, unglazed ceramics, clay, paper, canvas, walls, and even metal. Ooh, so I could have some of it in my art, my paintings too, huh? Oh, Lord. We're going to. Oh. Hey, Craig, go on now. Look at that. <laughs> Don't touch it. Don't touch it. Oh, my gosh. No, it's stuck to you forever. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. Don't you wish you'd had that when you were doing glitter? Hey, Sunflower. But you know what's coming up? Our next start and chat is going to be about magic. My, my book will be a Dusty's The Magic. You just never know. Hey, Sunflower. How you doing? And then we have, this says Polished Coral. It's nice to know I can use this in my artwork. Oh, my gosh. I cannot wait. <laughs> Mark, I see videos in my future. Girl, you see videos in your future no matter what it is. So, Oh, that's pretty and soft. That rose. Boy, if they made makeup like this, they'd make a mint. Look at that sheen and shimmer. Let's see what the other ones. Now I'm all excited. You know I'm going to be watching a lot of videos on this stuff now to make sure I use it right. Oh, look at that. I'm liking this. I wish this was like eyeshadow and stuff. Where does Julie Snyder live? She's getting another storm. show. Stephanie says, fun stuff. It is. I'm sorry. Everything I bought was on sale. Every single thing, except for my um, two sided tape here, because I'm going to be using that to mat um, some pictures that, I, that I've done. I've got some watercolor paintings I'm doing, this and the other that I'm going to mat. And uh, I'm going to have an auction on them. So they're going to be matted. So all you have to do is frame them. And on that auction, there will be minimum set for the bidding. Ooh, this one kind of got scary. Okay. <laughs> That's kind of like. Uh, probably got dropped, dropped or something. Um, How does it feel? feel the same, same though? Yeah, it seems the same. Probably got dropped or was set upside down or on the side and it, you know, got warm and then moved over. You know how that goes. It's Lens Crafts. And that's her YouTube name, you Lens Crafts with a Z. I think that's her, that I've seen her use this on her polymer clay when she's doing borders and whatnot. So now I have a card to do for, I have a card I have to save. So if somebody, you know, we start stockpiling, I think. Like, oh, this would be good for a future project, or this would be good for somebody mm -hmm. that might need it. This would make a good video. <laughs> You know me and my videos. I am going to do Faith sending phone today. Do you have a charger or MIM card? I have the ones for my Galaxy. I have, but the charge. Hey, Nikki, how you doing? The charger. Um, 
I'm using a different charger that didn't come with my phone, but it should work with that, I would think. This is my this is my big Nick for the those that just got here, Nikki. And these markers here are regularly 80 bucks. I got them for 20. They're Prisma color. So I'm all excited to see how they're gonna be working. Because usually, you know, I don't I don't spend a lot of money on my markers because I can't. And I was looking at Copic, and Copics are like eight dollars a piece. Oh yeah. And then they send refills. And, but I'm fine with my alcohol markers that Shay got me for Christmas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You no, know, Shay got me markers for Christmas, and I like them just fine. And I'll be putting this in the mail as soon as I figure out how to shut it back up. I don't know what happened there. I'll have to figure that out. And this book, I think it's going to be a great adventure, guys. This Romantic Country Second Tale, the fantasy coloring book. We were kind of going over it. And this is a map with the landmarks to introduce you to the book. And it's got a whole flipping story. It says use colored markers. I'm sorry. Colored pencils, markers, ink, watercolors, etc. All you That's all you need for this journey in your favorite painting material. Paint a fit, and are they? You know what? None of these pages are uh, perforated, so is I guess it's intended for you to leave it in the book. Well, well yeah, because yeah. Um, um, it's like see right there, the horse carries over to the other page. Right. Some places do that. Don't know why. Ooh. That scares me. But it's on the front and the back. So what do you mean? You know, yes. And they're telling you can use watercolors. I'd have to be very careful. Yeah, but my mom said, my, you know, my mom, she doesn't watch a lot of our stuff. She doesn't pay attention. But she was looking. She was like, well, why would they put it on the back? With me? What if you wanted to pull that out and, and frame it or something when you were done with it? I'm like, yeah, exactly. They don't think sometimes. Um. I'm gonna have to reboard. This is like there's. I guess these are different stationary sets. Do we have that? Is that is it telling you what each thing is? I believe it is. Each page is a story, hmm. and then it tells you about it. Wow! Does it break it down into chapters? Or it just goes picture. To, and no, it does. The Hidden Witch Forest, chapter four, and then. And the back, wow, this is an interesting book, to say the least. It's sci-fi, but it's a good one. What are y'all talking about? I hope it melts fast. Okay, so Julie Schneider's in Jersey. Their storm started three hours ago, and it's coming down really fast. Sunflower said, burr, hope it melts fast. Arizona lady, how you doing? She says, cool book, yay. Julie says, uh, Jane says, Julie, I'm in Jersey too. But not snowing here. We had a glorious sunshine all day. Ian says it's a sci fi, but it's a good one. Jane says, I like sci fi, Ian. Oh, I think they're talking about the flash. Yeah. And Julie Schneider says, I'm down by Atlantic City. It's been raining since last night and really windy. Ian says, Jane, then you will love it. Okay, so it does tell you about each. Each each page and it has a little synopsis of a story like one little paragraph and i guess to let you just carry on from there cool i am so flipping excited the only thing that's perforated to come out is this huge map thing and it just it's in the back this huge poster mm -hmm. and it's I don't know how much of this you're going. Oh, that's to do a. That's to do a. That's not a poster, hun. What is that? That's uh, like to do a, like a little, set up a little three D, build a thing. Huh? When you were looking at the back, if you'd have seen these are those those you cut out those those like paper doll things you cut out, and then you you cut your ballroom and all that stuff out. You mount them to certain things and you set up a whole little scene. Oh, well, you're going to have to help me with that. Oh, heck no. You didn't. No, I mean, you can guide me in what I'm supposed to be doing. Does this look like the guiding light? 
Yes, it does. <laughs> yes, it does. Oh, so this is okay. You look at the back of the book when you were just where you were just looking. It shows you about that. Like it shows you the whole towards the the very the very back right there. All right. Okay. How to play? It's a game. Enjoy the attached posters. Also, so that, okay. You can enjoy the posters attached at the end of this book in many different ways. Paint the images with various colors, cut and paste them together. Display them. Oh, it's kind of like one of those. Um, what are those called? Diorama, diorama? like diorama. a diorama. Yeah. Oh, and then you. Why don't you display their color poster? There are many styles. Holy moly! There's going to be a lot I can do with this sucker. <laughs> wow. I'm I'm just, wow. Now those, what you'll want to do is if you do that and you cut it out, yeah. you'll want to put, you'll want to mount it to like maybe phone cord, cord, cord board. The phone board? Yeah. Something like that. Just for st stability. You know. Sunflower says it's like a puppet show. Julie Slider says, I really like this country book. I do too. Sunflower says, it's very cool, Jane. You attach the figures to a something stick and play plays. Who said that? Jane. Oh, oh Jane. She says, yeah. like a stage. She, she, would, she would lay in her bed and play. She'd, she'd, paint, she'd paint a stage above her bed <laughs> on the wall. <laughs> it says that Jane, uh, Ian, it says uh, DC comic on for the flash here. It says DC comics original for the flash. It's a little locket. It was on sale for a buck seventy five. Oh, this is going to be amazing. She said, hubby, stop telling my secrets. I know everything about you. I'm going to tell everything. Now, the pages on this are pretty thick, which is good. But I'm going to have to get some parchment paper, you know, the cooking paper that I use in between the pages while I work. Oh, one thing about this metallic stuff, it just, it doesn't come off. <laughs> It's there. It's there. Look at that. It's probably alcohol-based, rubbing alcohol or hand sanitizer. Um, I don't Come know. Off. What? My letters. There's a little mailbox here. Oh, look. You guys can't see it. Oh, Jane says. I'm crafting with Diane. Do what? I said hi crafting with Diane. I don't see her. Right there underneath hubby, stop telling my secrets. Oh, hi crafting with Diane. <laughs> Jeez. I'm like, where is she? She doesn't exist. She's the figment of your imagination. So this is like, okay, see how these little mail slots are right here with the little dials? Mm-mm. Right here. These are these are little places when you go you used to go to the post office. Yeah. Those are those they still exist. Oh well none of mine. That's all key. Our post but office I mean, has those. I remember that. I I miss some of the old stuff. Ian says, What I'm saying is it looks like the old Flash Gordon films but it does, Ian, it does. And Sunflower Six says, Good thing it's not coming off on your face. I know, right? The way I'm rubbing them. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's a little mermaid. Hey Nina, how you doing? Oh D Nina. That's oh, I'm sorry. It's not Diana, it's D Nina. Sorry. We'll get it straight. Most people just call me abstract. I'm good with that. Here's some mushrooms with a little bitty book and a coffee cup on it. Huh. You know, it's D. That's a pretty little fairy. He's gorgeous. Yeah, I'm like He's cute. Let me try to make sure you can see it. I like that. Oh, so it's Di Diane. 
Who's keeping score? <laughs> Nikki says, you're right, Nikki. I am. Three. I don't keep, I keep score, but not very well. And then this has got a little hammock in the air. Hmm, so nice. Oh, I'm going to be, this is going to be fun, fun, fun. Yep. I almost didn't get this book. I am so glad that I changed my mind. Yeah, no one can pronounce my name either. Yeah, I call her Sunshine. Instead of calling her Sunflower, half the time, I call her Sunshine. I don't know why. She just reminds me more of a sunshine than a sunflower. I don't know. But she answers to both, so I'm good. I mean, you know, what are you going to say? She answers to both of them. And here's the cover of this book. So their, their colors are kind of pastel-y. So it also has some other books. The Four Seasons. Mysterious Planets. Which one's this one? This is The Romantic Country, which is the one I have. So they've got two other books. I'll have to see if they come up for sale in there. That birdhouse looks like somebody took a bite out of it. Where, this one? Or this one? Yeah, doesn't it? On the side. This si yeah, the, first one. the way it edges <laughs> down. It does. There's Bluebird's Laundry. I, I'm just, this is going to be so much fun. Sunflower, I love the owl and the eagles in your, oh, wow, this one's huge. The um, eagle, just don't call me late for dinner. <laughs> this is going to be so much fun, guys. And I'm really going to love these uh, Americanas. And look at the colors that were really big back then. Is this that Nor, what do you call it? Uh, Norman Rockwell? Yeah, but with the pink color, it's not that something Nor, is it? Noir? Yeah. That's uh, not Noir, is it? I don't know. It's just Norman Rockwell. I think it depended on the time, what was, what was fashionable at the time, what, was he, what he did. Well, I know that a lot of these in the different books... Like this one is just the Saturday Evening Post because it has different, like Stephen Dahos. This is uh, 1944 for this one. Mm -hmm. And that was the uh, cover of the Saturday Evening Post in July. So it's so all these are by Stephen Dohanos. Dohanos? Yeah, this is his work. He did the covers in, and it tells you what year, the 40s, the 50s, stuff like that. Most of this is, there's some 50s in here. I'm just amazed. This one's just fashion. I don't think this was, yeah, this is just, this is just so cool. But I don't think they wore red lipstick back then. I think it was more like pinks and things. Oh, uh, no, red lipstick was. The main function, I believe, back in those days. In the fifties, so she's got red on. Yeah, there was, there wasn't. You have to remember, back in the day, there wasn't too many different variations of lipsticks and stuff. It was usually red. This is Ming Ju Sung. I don't know, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And the coloring she's going with is like pastel to me, like a watercolor. Mm. I've noticed that watercolors can be very pa uh, very pale. Yeah, it depends on how much you water them down and how much you, you know, do this and that with them. Here's the Norman Rockwell one where it tells the covers he did. Wow. I'm just like, wow. I would love to see Dee Dee do one of these. She's so good. 
I'm gonna have to watch some more of her color ones before I start on these because I want them to turn out really good. 1930, wait a minute, this one's a 1936 cover of the Saturday Evening Post, 1936. So the guys at the barbershop are hammered. It says, oh, it says barbershop quartet, but they look like they're hammered to me. <laughs> <laughs> it might be, you never know. Like Jane said, did you leave anything at the shop? Everything I got was on sale. This was not over a yeah. dollar fifty. You didn't get to, you didn't come to mind, Jane. You have to go look at my channel. I had I had a, I had a haul from there the other day. Oh yes, he did he had a much better haul? But I couldn't find you know. And there's tons in there, but my goal was to only get things that were on sale, reasonably priced, and the most expensive thing I bought, and it was on sale for twenty bucks, was the Prismacolor. Um, art markers because they regularly are $79.99 and it was the only one they had left and I reached for my phone to call you and then I realized I didn't have a phone mark. Oh, poor baby. So I was going to say, are these worth getting? I didn't have a phone to call you and harass you. <laughs> well, when it and comes to those, if you got them, they weren't, you know, that you could either send them to Shay or you could sell them, one of the two. <laughs> right? Well, around here, nobody know what that is. So. And then I like what a bunch of y'all missed is I bought the 11 by 17 parchment um, because Mark bought it the other day as well. And I got it on sale for the same price. You got it for $250, did not you? What? What, in your parchment $250, like mine? Yeah. And that way he and I can, I'm trying to get where my camera is, can do some kind of a project together. So you can show me what I'm supposed to do with it. And it's not writing because I, uh, Hey, couldn't these some of these a page or two of this? You could do it and put it like in an art journal, huh? Mm hmm Do huh. all kinds of stuff with it. And sunflower. I got a wonderful card today. Birthday card from somebody that we both know. And it was so sweet. And Stephanie, that we both know. It was such a beautiful card. I didn't even, it was totally unexpected. I was so shocked. And this wreath, I can take off the card and I can hang it. And I want that person to know, hey, Brassoth, how you doing? Faith, have you ever thought of making a, a la landed with your artwork? A what? Making a what? What is a CA landed? with Calendar. Your Calendar. Oh, a cal yes, but it costs so much money. I've got to, I've got to buy the stuff myself and just do it myself. I was going to just, you know, do it online, but to even produce it online was going to cost me so much money. It'll be easier if I just buy the stuff to make the calendar and do it myself, because. I'm not going to spend. How can I spend fifteen dollars on the calendar and then try to sell it? <laughs> it's like okay. What am I going to sell it for? Twenty bucks. Who's going to spend twenty dollars on a calendar? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yep. Sweet nothings is all I have to say about this card. Sweet nothings. It's very pretty. It's a wonderful birthday card. I almost cried. Oh, whatever. You weaved. Quit lying. I almost cried. I did. <laughs> my I, my girl had my um, home health aide went and checked my mail. And when I saw the state it came from, I thought it was from somebody else. Right, Brassoff. So that's why I'm going to have to buy the equipment to, to do my own calendars. You know, those things that braid it. What is that? That little metal bind? They're binders, right? The binders for it. I'm going to have to get one of those and get the good paper and the good ink. Yeah, they're real expensive. So if I'm going to sell a calendar for $10, I might as well make it all myself instead of paying somebody else $15, and then I have to upcharge you $20, 25 bucks. So that's just crazy. Anyway, so this was my haul, guys. That was all, all I did. I'm just so excited about it. And I made sure. 
that I, everything I bought was on sale. Every single thing, except for this guy. But I can't wait to see what to do with this. I'm, I'm not under would help if I. You, are, you stick it on your fingers and you run, run around with it. That's what we've been doing. Well, now I know why people buy those little like um, hospital gloves. <laughs> She says, uh, Diana says she picks up Spector markers today at Hobby Lobby. Are they good? I don't know. In nothing about uh, them. Actually, those are the ones I sent to Shay. That's the kind I sent to Shay, and she loved them. The Spectre Noir. Remember that ones I sent to her in Happy Mail? Uh huh. Yes, yes, that's yes. What, yeah, that's what they were. Were the Spectre Noir? She loved them. They're they're actually. She said they're almost better than Copic, and they're cheaper. Really. Mm -hmm. I didn't see Stephen P comment. Uh huh. Who who's Stephen P? N I Nikki said nice haul. It was, and Sunflower Six said Steph, not Steve. Oh, Stephanie. <laughs> yeah, she's here. She was commenting somewhere around there, way at the top. She said her internet was really bad, but she was there listening. Yep, so this wasn't going to be a very long live unless there's anything y'all want to talk about. Um, oh, let me show you. Let me show you what I did real fast. Mark has seen it um, already. But I'm going to show y'all sneak peek of what's coming up in the um, It's a watercolor I did. I've just got him mad at that's why I had to buy that tape. There is a, my watercolor landscape of the Southwest that I did. And I'm going to trim it all down now that I've got the double sided tape and mat it. And this is going to go into my auction. So I don't know how much the lag is between us. Do you know how much the lag is? Mm, let me see. I have the video paused. Oh, I think they're seeing it. Love the colors. Um, I don't think you're that much of a lag today. Thank you. Move your finger. That looks nice with the mat. Just Mike made it in. All right. So about 10 second delay or so. 10 seconds. That's better than the 40. And those well, are my beautiful I'm card. I got a beautiful card today. From a friend, it's so sweet, and I'm going to be hanging up my. Um, I can take the reef off and hang it up. It's such a pretty card. Yeah. You just picked your card up. It's about 10, 10, 15 second delay. No big deal. Okay, so, so I'm going to trim this all up. I'm going to mat it. Then I'm going to put it in the cellophane that it comes with, and then um, it just seems quite quick. See you later, sunflower. Be safe. Thanks for coming in. And then, do you guys want to see me do more landscapes, or do you, or or more of my abstracts and my girls and stuff? We want to see naked men. No, no, I'm not. The, you, naked. you don't like one that do nude males. I'm not doing naked men. No. Oh. Well, then we'll have it just men. Nikki, are you leaving? If you are, see you later, darling. Brazov's laughing. So, Brazov, would you like to see me do more landscapes or my other abstract pieces? My flowers, my this, that, and the other thing, my girls. I think wifey, wifey said that she wants to see nude male, men, too. That's exactly what she just said. See? Yep, see? <laughs> Great. My, do I know my wife or what? <laughs> Well, there you go. But guess what? Y'all can just do it amongst yourselves. I'm not, I'm not involved in that. Not me. It does look bright. She said naked men in a landscape would even be better, see? Oh, Lord. Y'all are a hot mess. <laughs> Brazov likes the abstract, but I think landscape is awesome, too. Well, thank you. Both as once. Sitting on a cactus. 
Well, Lord, y'all are twisted. That that is your wife. <laughs> well, she she hides the bodies in her pond. <laughs> <sighs> No think, comment. Think, Mike and Mike, no comment. <laughs> Do you like this one or no, Mike? No comment, LOL. If he was asking for naked bodies, he'd want me to do the naked females. LOL. Uh, Brazov says, yeah, a gardener or something. Just kidding. <laughs> that's what that's what's in Jane's pond. <laughs> <laughs> a, couple of, a couple of painters and some gardeners that kind of. He said he loves it. That's good. So maybe I'll do some more of them for the, because I'm going to be doing another auction soon, but I want to make everything, everything's right. Just no boobs. Huh? You don't do boobs anyway. You do pockets. I used to do boobs. But <laughs> Dusty got on me and said, they're always too, Mike out. <laughs> Dusty got on me all the time that I, that I did the girls. My girls had too big of boobs. She goes, that's just got to be because you got big boobs. She was just jealous because you know, there was bigger than hers. That's all. <laughs> Jane said, hubby, behave yourself. Uh, Bravo said, hello, Mike out. I know, right? He pops in, says something else, and then zips out. But that was all. I just could, was so excited. As soon as I got home and everything was calmed down in my body, I made sure Jane and squinty eyes. What is she talking about, squinty eyes? I made sure I walked up every up every aisle of the art and crafts section, from the artist section to the craft section, looking for. Now there, I did see a lot of stuff. It needs a green or purple vulture. So, you know, vultures that are. I, in know, the, I know what they are, but maybe in a different one. We had one the other day because we get the turkey vultures around here. Do you? Big beautiful one the other day. It was big. He's beautiful. Uh, for the for as ugly as they are, he was a beautiful vulture. Uh, they, don't they wait for you to die and then they just eat you? I did see in there, which they weren't on sale, but I did see Mark where they had a lot of that um, chip art, the cogs and the wheels and all the steampunky little things. I was like, ah. Oh! But they were none of them were on sale. But I'm I'm going to have to get me some of those. Did you see the little tiny itty bitty ones that you have? I was telling you about the little tiny little teeny little teeny tiny. Were they over in the wood section, or were they over in the? No, these were over. They were in a weird, maybe spare part. They it was a weird section. I I never, you know, been been in there before, so it was. I don't remember half the set because they're sack. It's really confusing. I'm sorry. Hobby Lobby is very confusing to know what the heck area you're in. Well, I just were, kept walking until I found stuff that looked familiar. They were <laughs> unloading boxes and boxes of stuff today. And the clearance wall is usually on the far left in the back. And they had taken it all out and put, put things in it that I even went by the Sizzix, you know, to see if I could find any more of the little tiny dies. Because mm -hmm. all I have is the sheep that will fit my little Sizzik em embossing. There was some kind of die I come across there yeah, the other day, but I don't know if it was for Sizzix or what it was. And it was a pair. A pair, Jane, a pair. Well, they, they didn't have them on sale. I think they could have been 40% off, but I couldn't tell for sure. And I, I'm so new to the embossing thing. I only have the one that's the lamb, the sheep guy. But I, I didn't go to Tuesday morning. I just went here, and I was just so excited. I couldn't wait to get home to show you my Prismic because I thought you'd be jumping up for joy on yeah. that one. Like oh. I have been, I have been to to that Tuesday morning, and I have not, not found a dang thing. Oh, Jane, did you also see that there's a new set of pairs? They're not using the original set of pairs, so you're going to have to paint the pair. They're doing new pairs. Yeah, she, there was issues with the guy that she, that they were using the photo from and stuff, and uh -oh. I guess photo my photo <laughs> changed something or whatever. So she she reset and did a, a new set of pairs for people. Would you like to see the beautiful painting I got from Mark on the pairs? This is not my artwork. Mark sent this to me in Happy Mail. 
Now, isn't that gorgeous? They look like real pears. You don't want to tilt it just a little bit to get rid of the glare. Yeah, I'm going to have to do something to filter my lights. How's that? Is that better? Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this. Uh, Jane says she's not doing any more bloody pears. <laughs> and she says, Arg, no, not the pear. <laughs> this is one of Mark's paintings that he sent me. He is very talented for show off. I don't want to set it down yet because of the lag. I don't know. Um, Ian says he likes the new pears. I'm going to have to go look. I, I haven't seen it. Did mm -hmm. she do a video on it today or is it, which page is it on? No, it's been, it's been out. They've had the new picture for the pears for oh, several months. It's on her Art Sherpa Quest page. Yes, but that should have guy parts in the picture. What, what, which picture, honey? This one or the pears? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I'm having a, a gray haired moment here instead of a blonde moment. I'm having a gray haired moment. I'm like, I, I really like his pears. Then he goes, Oh, Mike out. <laughs> Mike, you're so funny. Okay, everybody. I really don't have anything else to show you. If you want, you guys want to sit and chat, we can. Mark, do you have anything to share, show, do? No, I gotta. I have to go to work here soon. Okay, my loves. I just want to have to be over and out eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, guys, I wanted to share my haul with you today. My new artwork that I'm working on. It will be matted and and uh, worked on this evening. Uh, I have videos going up tomorrow. You know, the pears were very nice, Mark. Yes, his pears are really good. I really like his pears. And one of my kids asked me if I painted that. I said, I didn't paint that. I'm not that good. Are you kidding me? I do abstract. I don't, I don't do all that other stuff. My hands shake too much for that. But I keep trying. Has anyone seen the new layout for the uploading? I know it. I had to go back and redo it. Thank you, Mike. And I really love my card. And the person that sent it to me, I, uh, I, I about cried. Because I was not expecting it at all. And I actually saw where it was from and thought it was from one of my art friends. And then I opened it up and I was like, oh, I was so surprised. I, I did. I just about cried. My home health aid girl was looking at me like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I just wasn't seeing this coming. It's so pretty. So somebody found a soft spot in me, dad gummit. <laughs> you know, I don't like to show the underbelly much. Anyway, everybody, thank you so much for stopping in, viewing while this is going on. And we'll have more stuff coming. And on the 7th, we're going to have another art and chat. It'll be the final one for the, the journal that we're doing. And then we've got some other things coming up after that. So thank you, guys, for coming. The surprises are the best. Yes. Yes. When you least expect it, that's what knocks me for a loop. I, I just don't know how to handle it when that happens. Thank you. Thanks, Julie. I'm going to sign off now, you guys. You have a wonderful evening, and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you, Thanks. Mark. You're welcome. I'll send you the bill. Okay. <laughs>